if it wasn't for the FBI doing a DNA analysis and then doing a further investigation, finding out that that gun, they found his DNA. They said, okay, we know he had possession of his gun in a place where only the owner would have it, which is the clip. If you take a gun from somebody right now, your fingerprints ain't going to be on the clip. It's going to be on the handle, maybe on the trigger, whatever. Uh, finger, his fingerprints on the clip. All right, we know this is gun. It's all the FBI report that I'm just quoting. Then they found out our right, serial number. This gun came from uh, a place down south. I don't remember. Okay, who's the registered owner? Okay, this man. Okay, they went and checked this man. Where's this gun at? I don't know. That gun was uh, stolen from me a while ago. Okay, who's in your house? Okay, this guy. Who's this guy? This guy's tax zone's friend. This guy said immediately, yo, I sold the gun to him. And this is when he cops out to the gun, which is the murder weapon in the feds. So now he already copped out to that gun. Now that gun did the killing. Now they got to explain in court. Well, okay, tax zone is saying, okay, it's my gun, but I didn't kill Banger. It was Choi Ave. It was Choi Ave. That gun was there, but I didn't kill Banger. Choi Ave wrestled the gun, and he shot his friend. This is the crazy shit that I got to go through. Like, what? And I can't speak on that. This Until now. So now I feel good. <laughs> God is great. And the paper's straight. <laughs> I'm a soldier of God, man. I'm, I'm telling you. Anybody go against me, they fall in misfortune. Real shit. So, so where, so, cause you seem like you're in a very positive disposition and place for, to have gone through all of this, and now that you do get to actually voice, you know, your 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 side of the story, where is it currently? Because that I think that's even because we heard that obviously, you know, tax has been locked up since this. You was locked up, then you got out, and now right. you saying you got to go back, like. I gotta go back. What so what is what's the the scenario and then and all while still putting out hot music. Yeah, thank you. They hate our <laughs> one right now. <laughs> top top ten on Billboard and, and number one independent. You know what I'm saying? So yeah. That feels good. Um uh, music is a passion, so I'ma always do that and always share my story. And this album more so was like everything I couldn't say, everything I couldn't talk about for years. You feel me? This shit was like therapy. Because this like, you got this happened what? Seven, seven years ago? Like, yeah, like six, 2016. Six, six, yeah, seven years so, almost, yeah. yeah. So me going through all this shit to be able to put the most tragic time of your life into one project, and that shit, it just, it's amazing. You know what I'm saying? And um, and then all while, I'm I'm still facing jail time. Yeah, at the end of the day, I mean, you, you, you're a father. That's and, a fact. And so... What do you tell your kids in this this whole scenario, knowing that dad got to go sit down, knowing that all that is transpiring? They're getting older now, so yeah. they so I'm pretty sure they they they're starting to understand a, a little bit more than when they was you know right when when this first started. Well, I I keep it real with them because when everything first started, they was one years old in in a couple of months. Yeah. So now at at damn near seven and eight or whatever, like I've been, I always keep it real with my kids because I feel like. You got to tell your kids, you got to keep it a thousand percent with your kids because guess what? They only going to hear that shit in school. Right. They going, yep. real shit. Because I know when I was a kid in school, people was cursing in school, talking about, Talk about what was going on. Crazy shit. Yeah. I got, I, I, I got a, a first porno tape that I seen from a, a nigga in my school. <laughs> right, right. Crazy. That, all of that. Real shit. My friends bringing condoms to school. Yeah. Like, That's guns it, in school. Like. As parents, we know, like, yo, the, the most influence comes from their peers. Come on, bro. Real shit. Look, yeah. like, parents that hide their little weed smoke. Listen, <laughs> somebody in school is smoking when you hit junior high. <laughs> Maybe yeah. earlier, but I, junior high, they smoking weed. Yeah. Don't hide it. Yeah. Just tell them, yo, this is what people do sometimes. Don't. So you keep it a stack with your, I keep with it your a stack. Kid. I got a song called If Daddy's, Daddy Goes to Jail. Yeah. And while I'm really breaking down everything, yo, here's everything you guys need to do. If I go away, it's not going to be forever, but... Here's everything I, that I'm teaching you, that you've been taught, you need to follow on as if I'm there. You know what I mean? Because I'm teaching you to set up to go through life and be productive and, and not be a bum. Be a productive member of society. Be successful in life. So I, they know everything. They know everything that happened. They know Uncle Banger that passed. They know, they know uh, a hater that shot daddy and daddy shooting at him. And, and they know I tell them shit like, yo, listen... The main thing I did wrong, y'all don't they don't grow up how I grew up in the hood. They don't have all that 
You know what I'm saying? The like natural streetwise yeah, approach. Like, or, or I, even I teach them that. Yeah. I show. I bring them to the hood and show them certain shit, but they don't grow up with those survival instincts. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not trying to teach them to be ghetto. You're not raising shit. gangsters. Yeah, at all. It makes no sense. <laughs> right, right. And you raise a gangster, and, and what? The, for, what? What you gonna get out of being against some some women, some money? But mind you, the club owner, right? <laughs> Right. He's a fucking square. But the gangster got to stand online line and get in the club. <laughs> right, right. You feel me? Does it make sense? So you just teaching them to be right. wise. I'm teaching yeah, and, and be bosses square, and be leaders. Successful. Yeah. But I tell them, like, the only the, the difference, the, the shit that I did that was wrong or one of the things is that when I finished uh, trying to kill a person or shooting at the person, I should have just stayed there and went to the hospital, told the police, hey, this ain't my gun. Somebody just tried to kill me, and I shot at them. But since I got that mentality of, like, it, it I, I don't know if it just come with being black or being from the urban community. You could be totally legit driving in your car. You see the police, oh, shit, fuck, I mean, they still watching. I'm not doing shit wrong. All my tags, everything is good. Whenever we see them blue lights or whatever. We, we you feel see, me? Those, like, that, those are the ops. <laughs> so that's like, that's why I'm like, yo, come on, let's, let's get up out of here. After, mind you, I'm standing there with my man's body trying to pick him up the whole time. Gun in my hand, trying to pick him up. Like, fuck that. Fuck the police. Fuck every... I'm shooting on camera. I don't give a fuck. I'm not leaving my man. Right. Until he got medical attention, that's when I left. Right. And that's when me getting in my Sprinter van and, and driving up to the hospital, the cops stopped it, and they found all the guns. It was just a bunch of floor shit that if the, the people around me... You got to watch the people around you. If they're not solid, then I, I wouldn't be in as bad of a situation as I, I'm in, you know what I mean? Right. Or as I wasn't, but I, God is the plan of all plans. I can't trip, you feel me? Like, it is what it is. I, I went through it and I came out of this shit even stronger. Do you have any concerns? I mean, obviously, I mean, you've, you've been shot multiple times on different occasions. I mean, you, you made it out the streets, had to go back to the streets. Like, uh, like waking up every day as Troy Ave, are you... Uh, are are there any concerns for for your life or any of those at this nah. moment, Is, or just nah. because you like you said you made it through you? Not you, at all. Yeah, like the ill shit is the ill shit is, bro. Is like I really, I really came from real turmoil and real street beefs. Right. Like real that that shit just comes with it coming from Brooklyn and being successful and you know what I'm saying people yeah. are gonna try you. I never. Did no grimy shit to nobody in my life. I never ran off on a plug. I never robbed nobody. You know what I'm saying? But it could be as much as an ice grill. Somebody staying at you because you get money. The fuck you looking at? Right. What you mean what the fuck I'm looking at? And they be aggressive and then shit starts. And when shit starts, it drags on. You know what I'm saying? Until if, like, little shit could spark something in Brooklyn and all over in any ghetto, any hood in, in America. You know what I'm saying? Or worldwide. But I've really been through some shit. It's just now that um, I got some sort of a celebrity right. and, and fame that now it gets highlighted more. You know what I'm saying? Where it's looking like, wait, are you are you okay? Are you a-? and I've been through crazier shit than this. You know how I many times I've been in interrogation rooms and different shit like that. Yeah, it's I mean, even like you said, well, before that, you, on Christmas Day, you got shot in the head. Bro, before that, I I got shot when I was 16, running around the streets, 15 or 16, whatever. Like before that, in a shootout. So clearly, uh, God ain't finished with you. There's you feel a, me? That's what I'm trying plan. to say. But that's because I always, I got a good heart. And they say God knows your heart. I don't be on no bullshit. Anybody that ever met me, people might have a negative opinion, pockets of people online. And we know because they're uh, two degrees separated from a hater. But anybody ever met me, be like, nah, I fuck with your ass. He come through showing love. You know what I'm saying? Humble. Like, humble as humble as you could be. I, I think sometimes people tell you to be humble because they really just trying to pacify you. But if Michael Jordan holds up six rings, <laughs> why is he being humble? He worked for that. If a guy walk, nigga, you be out here with your shirt off and shit. Right, dude, right, right, right. Facts. <laughs> they gonna tell you be humble, put a shirt back on? No, I worked for that. Right, the fuck right. you mean? Right. You know what I'm saying? But like anybody ever met me, I have a different opinion than the haters and shit. So as far as me being in fair, no, I just, I move extra dangerous. I got armed security with me. You know what I'm saying? Just... Different shit like that for somebody that would try. And if, if, God forbid, if it happens and somebody comes up and somebody got to get put down, I'm not going to run off. I'm going to call the cop. Hey, yo, listen, I just killed this 
person, they was trying to attack me. Y'all come pick their body up and I'm right here with the pistol on my right. security. Self-defense, not run off in the night and look guilty. Right. Because that's, that's what they're coming at you with now because you left the scene of the crime. Absolutely. I, I, absolutely. Because that's something that a guilty person would do. Right. But, you know, we always assume and feel like we guilty being black. As black men. Real they shit. Already you could be doing nothing guilty. and you feel like you guilty. You could be in a state that is legal to smoke weed and you like, damn, we could do this here? Yeah. Looking around type shit. Yeah. And it, it's sad, but... That's the we, system. That's and we can't we design that we, we we're, right. It uh, is what it is. We gotta figure out instead of. I wish more people. I wish that less people would stop crying and complaining about the situation as it is, and figure out how to flourish in it instead. Yeah. Like I, right, this this way. I at. mean, you're a living example of that. Well, right? shit. I mean, you you took whatever it came at you, dealt with it, you know, stood on it. And I mean, cause you you would hit me like, dog. I got this. My my story is a movie. But real, it, yo, and, I, I, DM'd I, Nick, I said, yo, listen. I said, bro, I need you on deck with with this shit. I want to make a movie out of this shit. And it's like, def, I mean, as y'all hear here, just even hearing this perspective, it's like this is it applied it, all the shows that we love. Come on, yo, he really living the a real situation in a real life of like a man that's overcoming obstacles where it's it's. It's people that you thought was rocking with you. It's people that you wouldn't expect to turn against you. It's, it's losing loved ones. It's trying to be a father. Uh, the fact that, like I said, you're still trying to operate on the highest frequency, man. I, I commend you. I mean, I pray for you, uh, uh, for all that you're going through and, you know, praying for a positive outcome. But, I mean, even in this scenario, man, I mean, it's for it, it's it's admirable to see you sitting here today and still, you As, know, it, Ha I, have it all together. I'm here for a reason. Like I said, I'm a soldier of God, bro. It, it's countless people that DM me that see me in the street, like, and be like, yeah, I fuck with you, bro. Yo, bro, I started praying because of you, bro. Right. I started becoming a better father because of you. Because I see what you do, and I'm saying, yo, I'm slacking. Like, if that's my purpose in life, and it had to go through music and shit, then they hate I won. The black people have black conversations that benefit black people. Well, the thinking black people.